December 29th, 2018. There has been an uneasy lull in the jackrabbit wars the past couple of years. The rabbits seem to get more aggressive as the snow gets deeper, and last year was such a mild winter they never really became a problem. Lately, though, I've been seeing more evidence of jackrabbit activity, and this morning I glimpsed a pair of jackrabbits prowling around in our driveway near the garden area. There's not much they can do to the garden right now, but the hay shed remains vulnerable. I wonder if the rabbits are mobilizing for another attack. Strategically, I'm afraid I'm not as well positioned to repel a large-scale offensive as I was in 2016. New installations like the propane tank and landscaping improvements provide more cover and make it harder to get a clear shot, especially from the house. If I do have to repel another invasion, I expect I'll have to patrol a larger area, swinging a wide loop around the house and hay shed so I can catch the enemy in the open. But we'll do what we have to do. Fourth of January, 2019. I was just returning from a morning patrol when I spotted a lanky jackrabbit making a beeline for my hay shed. He spotted me too, and we both froze in our tracks. Then I shot him. There is our first kill of the season. Boy, that thing really exploded. Note to self, the use of VMAX bullets is effective for rabbit population control, but may complicate field dressing. January 7th, 2019. Around mid-morning, I sighted a jackrabbit from the kitchen window. At first, I thought he was trying to sabotage my wife's car, but it turned out he was just using it as cover. I threw on my coat, grabbed my rifle, and ran outside, where I found an expeditionary force, three rabbits strong, launching an offensive. Two rabbits were scouting the garden area, while one had already infiltrated the hay shed. I shot two of them, including the one at the hay shed, but one of them got away. That makes three confirmed kills this winter. January 8th, 2019. Today, my wife ran over a jackrabbit with her car, and I shot one with my 44, bringing our total kill count to five. January 9th, two more kills on evening patrol makes a total of seven. January 10th. Three more kills on morning patrol brings our total kill count to 10. A surge in the coyote population may have shifted the balance of power, which would explain why the rabbits haven't been as thick this year. There is some question as to whether coyotes should be regarded as friend or foe in this conflict. On the one hand, coyotes are predatory animals that have no qualms about preying on young calves, lambs, chickens, and other livestock. On the other hand, coyotes also eat a lot of rabbits, voles, and mice, which would otherwise cause significant damage to stores of hay and grain. If anything, I think the more common view among ranchers is that the reduction of losses due to rodents is worth the additional risk, and therefore that having coyotes around is a good thing. However, there certainly exist differences of opinion on that subject.
It's amazing how some of these rabbits can take a couple hits from a 223 that split them wide open and still run 100 yards or more before they expire. 